Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and today we're going to be talking about Celine Sciamma. And in particular, we're going to be highlighting this Plain Archive Celine Sciamma trilogy, uh, coming of age trilogy right here, all in French, and we'll talk about this in a second. But before we jump into that, I want to know, uh, what have you seen from Celine Sciamma? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. So let's first jump into the film that I think a lot of people actually came on board and uh, understood uh, outside of France, possibly, uh, this, this director's work. But Portrait of a Lady on Fire, here, right here, this is the Criterion edition. This came out a few years ago, back in 2019, and this film just put Celine Sciamma in a lot of people's minds on the map. And wow, this is... This is a masterpiece. This is one of the best films I've ever seen. And it is just a gorgeous piece of work, uh, and it's very nonverbal and subtle, and uh, there's just a lot of things going for it. But I think a lot of people have seen this movie. If you haven't, I, I completely 100% highly recommend checking this film out. Uh, and this is a really wonderful release from Criterion right here. This is spine number 1034. Uh, and yeah, it comes with a lot of great special features, and it is just a gorgeous release nonetheless here. Uh, but yeah, this was my introduction to Celine Sciamma, and I think for a lot of people this was as well. And this one it just holds a really special place in my heart. But moving on to a little bit more recent times, there was a film that Celine Sciamma put out recently, back in 2021, and that is Petite Maman. And this is from Mubi. This is a UK release right here, so this is only Region B, unfortunately. So if you do not have it, uh, I think it is available on a lot of streaming platforms, so definitely check it out if you haven't. But this is a wonderful film, and this is only 72 minutes, which is a perfect runtime in my opinion. But Petite Maman, there's uh, some really um, interesting elements at play, uh, but more or less just keeps capturing what Celine Sciamma does. And I really love that aspect about her work and that, that subtlety of the nonverbal, but also of what people are saying to each other and the relationships in, in inside it. So both Portrait of a Lady on Fire and Petite Maman these are phenomenal releases uh, of recent ilk. So this is 2019, this is 2021, uh, and I definitely highly recommend checking these two out right here. They're fairly uh, reasonably priced, so I hope you can check them out if you haven't. But moving on from those films, let's talk about the Plain Archive order that I have right here, this box set um, of Celine Sciamma's Coming of Age trilogy. This is her first three films. It also came with this really wonderful little magnet right here, uh, this little magnet you can see and I'll read it to you. Uh, I'm a woman director and my movies are shown all around the world. I embody the fact that it is possible. And so this is actually from Plain Archive, this magnet right here. But if you are unfamiliar with Plain Archive, they are a South Korean based Blu-ray company. Uh, well, physical media, I suppose, because they also sell other things like that. But this was actually given attention to me from my friend Tim, Tim Talk Talkies, and then also my friend Steph Movie Chatter. So I want a big shout out to both of them. I'll be putting their links in the description section down below, but they uh, brought me along for this particular release. So this release, like I said, is from South Korea. So I had to import it over here. It is region A uh, and it has all the, the little uh, things available here to tell you what exactly what's going on here. Uh, and so it has all three films of from Celine Sciamma, and I love the design of this box set. I think this is a just absolutely stunning box set. Uh, and I, I do want to mention uh, real quick before we jump into the details of the box set, uh, I would like to say that this is a rather expensive title. This is about $99.99 or something along those lines, plus international shipping. So it is a little bit costly. Uh, if uh, you decided not to pick it up, that's totally fine. But I, as a fan of the other films from Celine Sciamma, I wanted to check out her earlier work and uh, really just jump into this box set because it just was speaking my name. So let's look into this box set. It has three films right here. It has, um, I'm going to try to not butcher all their names, but it has Water Lilies, Tomboy, and Girlhood, which it has all of the French titles there except for Tomboy uh, on, the, on the front. So 2007... 2011 and 2014 respectively. So let's look at each of these discs and what comes in this box. Look at that beautiful pink finish. That blue and pink is just really gorgeous here. So uh, let's look at the films themselves first. So let's look at first Water Lilies from 2007. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous piece of, of art right here. 
and uh, I really love the package design of this one. So uh, in here is the disc itself, and it also, each one of these comes with postcards right here, and I think I really love this, these, these different postcards. If you can see that little, uh, that little uh, in, in, engraving carved little, uh, you know, imprint right there that happens, it actually says the, the film itself, a film from Ski, uh, Celine Skiama, all in French right there. So these are all postcards from Plain Archive, uh, and just little stills from each of the uh, each of the films right here And I want to show you each one of these real quick and This is actually one of my favorite releases You'll actually notice the, the one in the, the lady in blue is actually in portrait of a lady on fire This is her at a younger age in 2007, which is crazy that she worked 12 years later uh, on these films so those are the, the, the postcards for Water Lilies, which is a really fantastic debut film from Celine Sciamma, uh, following two, uh, two young girls and um, one's relationship with the other one, trying to act cool and really just getting good graces. But also there's some subtleties of maybe some interest and, and discovery about herself. And I, I really love that aspect about this film. But this is uh, what I watched. I watched this film, and I also tried to watch the special features. Now, I will give you a hint. On the special features, they're all in South Korean. So they're all in Korean. And uh, therefore, that might be one of the detractors from this box set is from the fa sheer fact that the special features are all in Korean. But the film itself is on Blu-ray, and I'm just really happy that I was able to see it uh, and just have it on disc, and that, that is really uh, a big selling point for me, plus the postcards and this packaging. So I do want to, you know, give everyone the heads up on that. But the special features are definitely not, unfortunately, an English subtitle, but uh, you can definitely check out the film itself uh, subtitled in English. So that is Water Lilies. So let's actually move on to the second film right here which is from 2011, and it is Tomboy, right? Another gorgeous cover right here. And I'll show you that. And then from there, there is the other side. And within this little disc are more postcards from the film Tomboy, right here. It is about a young girl who is playing a tomboy, more or less, trying to fit into a new location and with some new friends more or less just a day in the life uh, in there. There's his little, or her little sister. Uh, it, it's hard, gender is very fluid in this particular film. Um, here they are just, uh, just playing, I guess, in the shower, but you know, just like running water and playing, you know, little games that little ch that children do, right? Uh, and from there, oh, I'm going backwards. And right there is another still from the film all the way up to this very end. But yeah, wonderful, wonderful film. Tomboy just uh, carries on the tradition of what Celine Sciamma does with children in particular and their art of play and uh, what uh, they do in the meantime. But I really love this one in particular because it is something where uh, the story really follows uh, this girl who is becoming a, t uh, is a tomboy and pretends to be a boy, right? And I love that day-to-day -day activity and then what society really more or less doesn't tell us uh, and how, how that actually can inter interact with um, maybe her mother, her, her sister, and all those inter daily interactions you see, and how tough it's got to be, right? So Tomboy is another wonderful film from Celine Sciamma. And then let's look at the last film right here, which is Girlhood, right here. And that is a beautiful cover right there. And on the other side, of course, there is the disc and the postcards. And Girlhood is, we're moving up on age, right? So uh, a first film uh, is more pre, you know, like teenage years, uh, preteen years. The second one is definitely more adolescence, but a little bit younger. Uh, and then this one is more like in high school, right? Uh, so we're, we're moving at different ages of youth, right? which I really, really love. Here are some still images from Girlhood right here. And this one in particular follows um, French black youth, right? Uh, in particular girls uh, and how they interact with society. And I think Celine Sciamma, she definitely wanted to comment on a representation on, on it, the black girl in French cinema. It's not really focused on much. And so that's what one of her goals with this particular film was. And I, I can commend that. And I really love how brutal actually this film is actually. This is probably 
one of the toughest watches of the bunch, um, but it is definitely worthwhile. So uh, with that being said, I know I mentioned on the first film on Water Lilies that none of these special features, the audio commentaries, the making of, the behind the scenes featurettes, all of those things, those are all in Korean, unfortunately. So I will say that it is really difficult uh, a sell to, to, to you if you wanted to pick this up, uh, unless you were a big fan of Celine Sciamma and wanted to check out her work. Now, the other additional thing I wanna show is the booklet that comes with it right here. And it is all in French, Korean, and English. So there are little snippets of English. So if we open it up, we can see the filmography right there. Uh, who it's for and in Korean, and then there are the different passages here. But um, we can see a prologue which has English and Korean on it and has little stills, the films themselves, which actually this first part is all in Korean, which probably talks about each film in particular. So I'm not gonna show that first batch right here, but there's Tomboy. And when we get to Girlhood right there. So this is the first half of the book. And then once we get to the second part right here, there's some still images right there. Uh, once we get to the second part, there are some Korean uh, and English translated essays. So the second half of the book has the English with it. And I've read a few of them and I really enjoyed um, really just understanding more about Celine Sciamma and uh, what her direction was with all these films. And so there's that in both Korean and English. And it goes all the way uh, to the end of the booklet. There's about um, about 70 pages, about 68 right here. And there's a great quote from Celine Sciamma on the back right there. I think there is a genuine will and strength that goes beyond masculine or feminine identity regarding the character. That is alone. That's the end of her journey in the film, that she's so strong and so determined to be herself. And I believe that one in particular is talking about Tomboy. So there are different aspects uh, and different essays here. And uh, actually, I lied. There's about 80 pages here. And then the films of Celine Sciamma. So really wonderful booklet. Uh, I'm really glad that the there's partial English, at least on the film essays, right, on the sides of those. But here are the films all together. I did it backwards right there. There we go. And you can see them all uh, like that lined up. And together, it comes in this beautiful package right here. And then also with this magnet. So like I was saying uh, at the top of the show, when I was talking about Portrait of a Lady on Fire and Petite Maman, uh, I really enjoy the works of Celine Sciamma and I am really fascinated by her worlds. And I think overall to kind of explore all of the films that I've seen so far from her is that I, I really love the subtlety and the youthful, I guess, innocence and energy that she brings to these films. So there's a lot of playfulness there is a lot of emotional and there's a lot of uh, seriousness as well, uh, as well as how they're interacting with the world them, uh, around them. And I really enjoy that aspect and it definitely sucks you in when you're watching a Celine Sciamma picture. And I think that it alone just really highlights the reason why I picked up that box set. So uh, at the at my, at my thoughts at the end of this entire thing is I've, I've really enjoyed this particular uh, trip that I've been going down. Uh, the road with all of the films from Celine Sciamma and I definitely would be interested in hearing your thoughts if you've seen any of those films and what your thoughts on her work is and uh, yeah I want to say thank you so much for watching this video if you plan on ordering that uh, box set from Plain Archive uh, it is going to be linked in the description down below like I said fair warning uh, the special features are all in Korean so just just want to give a big heads up on that so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it give it a like comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I will see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.